Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out at the range today with heavy metal. For this video, I'm testing some of this True Velocity 308 Winchester. What is special about this stuff? Well, it's composite cased ammo. Or, some might say plastic cased ammo. But, I'm doing a video series where we're testing out this ammo in a bunch of different 308 Winchesters. Uh, let me give you a little bit more info on this ammo real quick. Let me splice this in here. Let me read you a little bit off of their website. This says the 308 Winchester Collector's Edition. $200, get it to your door. Uh, but it says it's a composite cartridge designed for perfection. Included in the package are 22 state-of-the-art composite cased rounds loaded with 168 grain nozzler custom competition hollow point boat tail projectiles you get a dope book blah 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 and an official one moa velocity challenge coin um it says that with a 30 percent reduction in weight compared to regular brass unprecedented accuracy and consistency true velocities precisely manufactured ammo is awesome it's pretty much what it says uh but let me put up a little snip of the Ammo here, 308 win, 168 grain Nosler, G1, ballistic coefficient of 0 .4620, and then there's some velocity and bullet drop um, at different ranges. But to test this ammo out, I literally got my hands on the most precision rig that I could find. Big shout out to Gun Prime, that's where I picked it up. If you're not familiar with Gun Prime, go check them out. If you're looking for some bang bangs or anything else, chances are they're going to have it. So big thanks to Gun Prime. Y'all go check them out. They've got a YouTube channel too. But let me show you this baby, this whole rig set up real close. We're going to be testing this ammo with in this video. Then we're going to go back to 100, get her sighted in quick, and see what we can do with this plastic case 308 Winchester ammo. So let me start right here. This is a Remington... 700 action on this baby then we'll start at the back this has got a magpul prs what is that gen 3 stock on it this is a folder so this baby can actually pivot on this point right here and collapse we've got a built-in level on this baby we've got a vertical Precision grip on it. Your hand goes right there, or your thumb rather. I actually really like these. Got an oversized bolt knob, and then it's riding on a McCree's Precision chassis. It's got a McCree's Precision barrel, and if we get out of the bright light here, we've also got a McCree's Precision muzzle brake out here on the front. Almost didn't show you my favorite part about this setup. Check this trigger out. Look at how light this trigger is. Barely moves, super light. That's gonna help us do some real precision squeezes on that trigger with this ammo. But I'm gonna go back to 100 yards, get it sighted in, get it close with some cheaper ammo. Then we're gonna do a group with this true velocity stuff and see how this Remington 700 rig Likes those boo lights. All right, so back at 100, and like I said, we haven't sighted this rifle in. So I'm gonna go ahead and load up five of this bulk ammo. But coincidentally, this uh, bulk stuff is the same grain weight, so it ought to be somewhat close to this True Velocity plastic case stuff. Does this mag hold five? It should. But, uh, I bore sighted this thing already, so it should be pretty close. We'll see what happens. And as I'm sitting here looking at it, I don't think I told you about this scope. This is a Black Hound Genesis. A lot of people have been asking me about Black Hound. Especially for the money, I dig them. This is the 6-24. Yeah, 6-24. Uh, kind of hard to beat them for the price, especially. And they come with levels and the rings so you don't have to go find your rings but if you want to go uh learn more about black hound i'll find a link for this one and put it put it down below but 
let's fling five of these and get her sighted in so we can test out this plastic case stuff. Ooh, baby. Ooh, my lanta. This thing is sweet. All right, I got a paper plate down there labeled as sight in. Let's give her all the zoomies on that. Set our parallax. Let's send five and get it, get it sighted in here. Where are the plates? All the zoomies got me too far from a target. There we go. All right, we missed the whole plate, so I'm gonna have to go up a little bit closer and get this scope a little closer. My bore sighting was not good on this one, apparently. Let's uh, try this bulk ammo again. We should be close enough to hit that plate. See where we're at. Oh yeah. All right, the plate down there that's labeled sight in. That should be the one we're aiming for here. Hey, we got the plate. That's better. And where do we need to come? We need to come down some. And we need to go to the left. Let's see where, where we're at. Did I turn that the right way? No, I think we turned that the wrong way. Yeah, we'll just find another one and see where see where this one hits. About the same spot. So I think we adjusted this the right way that time. We'll see what happens. Well, left and right is a little better. And it's in another one. We kissed that bullseye. Was that all of our test shots? And we got one more. Let's send this one too. Well, that stuff wasn't grouping very well, but we know we're at least in the ballpark with the same grain weight ammo. I'm gonna load up. Oh man, bugs are killing today. I'm gonna load up five of these True Velocity white plastic cased blue lights. Then I'm gonna wipe the sweat off my eyes because it's about to drip in my face. Whew. Then I'm really gonna take my time and focus on my trigger squeeze here. Go to a clean paper plate and see what we can do here. Here we go. True velocity, plastic case. Do my best on the trigger squeeze all five times here. Hmm, either we had a dud or we didn't load one. Huh? One of them didn't go off, that gummit. Yeah, it hit it. I'll show you that at the end. See what this one does. Hmm. I haven't had this trouble out of any other rifles, but apparently this rifle isn't hitting the primers hard enough. Try it again. Hmm. Really weird. I don't understand it. Hmm. Well, for some reason, this, uh, this 700 isn't hitting the primers hard enough. Same thing, that's three in a row. Uh, I'm going to go put these in another rifle uh, real quick just to see. Because I think, I think it's just this gun. But uh, there's three right there. Where this 700 hit them, but they wouldn't go off. Really weird, but uh, I've got a Ruger over here. I'm going to go put these in and see if it fires them, uh, just so we'll know that it, they work. All right, so kind of really strange there. 
that that Remington 700 uh, firing pin isn't setting these off. Uh, I've tested this stuff out of three different Bing Bangs before, boat guns and semi-autos, and had zero problems. But, you guys saw, for whatever reason, this Custom 700, maybe whoever built it, I did not, uh, had it set up to do that, I don't know. But, that baby has a light firing strike, or firing pin strike. But, what I do have over here today, I've got a Ruger Precision 308. So I'm going to load that one, or one of those three that didn't go off, in this Ruger, and see if this Ruger will fire them. I kind of get the feeling that it will. I don't think it's the ammo. I think it's, I think it's that Remington 700. Uh, might as well see if we can hit some steel on out there. Where are we at? Oh yeah. I'm sure y'all heard it. Baby went off and smoked that steel way down range there. Uh, but, uh, for whatever reason, dadgummit, this custom Remington 700 won't make those babies go off for some reason. So, kind of disappointed, super bummer. This was actually the one that I was most excited to try this uh, True Velocity stuff out of. But, hey, for whatever reason, firing pin isn't slapping these babies hard enough to make them go off. Uh, this is the fourth rifle we've tried this in. Haven't had any problems yet um, up until this one. Both semi-autos and bolt guns, like I said. Uh, but stay tuned. I got another one I'm gonna try. Um, some of these rifles definitely like this ammunition better than others. Um, if you haven't seen some of the other videos, some of them um, touching, some of them not so touching um, at 100 yards. But, hey, is what it is. Appreciate y'all watching. Don't forget to check out all the links down below. Make sure you're subscribed to our friends at Heavy Metal. Appreciate you guys big time. Comment down below what you want to see next time. We got tons of stuff in the works. Appreciate y'all big time. You have no idea. We'll see you on the next one. Who's <laughs> that?